Today, Coupon Flex Day. What's Coupon Flex? It's a bigger version of Payment Connect. Let's go! Let's chop go. chop! We've already uh, reserved our spot today from 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. And we're going to Ilsan 8, the boot camp I guess they're called, to pick up the packages. So just, you can see it there on the map. Just copy and paste into neighbor maps. And 22 minutes. Coupang is the biggest delivery company in Korea, kind of like Amazon. And Coupang Flex is the system for anyone with a card to deliver packages for them. We were running low on money, and luckily there was a promotion where you could get a bonus 250,000 won for the first time, and 100,000 won for the next consecutive 4 times, for a total bonus of 650,000 won for 5 days of work, on top of what you already make doing the deliveries. Unfortunately, foreigners aren't able to sign up for Coupang Flex, but they don't seem to mind if you tag along and help a native Korean. <laughs> We arrived at the right address, but there wasn't a single sign on the buildings nearby that said Kupang or indicated that it was Ilsan Camp 8, so we ended up driving around in circles lost in confusion. We later found that Ilsan Camp 8 was actually on the fourth floor of the building we were next to, but we had to figure that out by ourselves as there were no signs anywhere. We parked nearby and contacted the customer service. They told us under special circumstances we could enter just because Eugene was still learning how to drive and needed me to complete the delivery. So we were back at it. We had now successfully infiltrated the coupon camp and were ready to knock their socks off with our delivery skills. We got our work order of about 50 packages and were off to the races to find out where we can actually find them in this big shipping facility. There weren't any training courses, so we had to keep bugging the super friendly staff to get us in the right direction. We finally found our working order cart and brought it back to the car to start getting things organized. We started scanning the packages and it gives you a number between 1 and 5. This is so you can organize the packages in your car so they're easier to find. We finished scanning, loaded the car, and we're ready to start delivering. <laughs> ready for your first delivery? Let's do it. 우선 지금 어떤 아파트 단지에 도착했는데 지도를 보시면 여기가 현재 저희 위치 here. 그리고 이게 이제 배달을 해야 되는데 저희는 지금 가구 단위, 박스 단위가 있는데 그냥 박스로 하려고. 그래서 우선은 이걸 클릭하면 이렇게 번호 같다. 첫 번째. 이건 전부 1번 그 위치에 있다는 거거든. 여기 뒤에 실었잖아. 자, 지금 보면은 8833이 숫자가 운송장 번호의 뒷번호야. 그래서 8833 하면 송종 뜨지. 여기에도 써 있어. 그래서 이거를 빼놓는 거지. We found and sorted each package according to the address of the places nearby and set out for our first official delivery. If you're wondering, each box delivered is 1,000 won, each plastic package is 600 won, and each recyclable fresh bag returned to the warehouse is 400 won. If you haven't noticed, you have to be pretty fast to make a decent hourly wage. To finalize the delivery, you have to send a picture of the package with the house number in plain sight. There are examples from previous deliveries to double check that it's the right house too, which I thought was really convenient when you're in a rush.
Between the two of us, our first time while filming this vlog, we averaged about 15 to 20 packages per hour, and this completely depends on what type of area you're delivering to. On one of the days, all of our packages were at the same apartment complex, and we finished all 50 in just over an hour and a half. But if you're doing it alone and have to drive a lot between places, Expect to do 7 to 10 packages per hour, which can make your pay as low as 5,000 Korean won per hour. That's not even factoring the time it takes to drive to the warehouse and organizing the packages before you start. Hey, you has got a thing of 12 Pepsi bottles, like 1.5 liter bottles, and uh, I did one of them already to, I think it was the third floor. It was pretty tiring, so you going to do this one to the fourth floor. Put us in the Oh. It's <laughs> super steep. Second floor. <laughs> After having to carry the Pepsi bottles, we both decided never to order something that heavy ever again. It's not fair for the delivery drivers to have to deliver multiple water bottles or Pepsi bottles like this to multiple homes. And the big companies aren't going to stop selling those products anytime soon, so we hope you consider doing the same. Seoul has a lot of older architecture that can barely be considered safe enough to live in, so there are some added challenges just navigating through some of these labyrinths to find the right place to deliver to. We finished out the day, and continued working for another 4 days after, and this is how much we made. As you can see, the bonuses were the only reason to make Coupon Flex a viable option to make a living. Our average day was from 10.30am to 2.30pm with a lunch break in between, but even subtracting an hour for lunch, that still leaves us with less than Korea's minimum wage, and that's without calculating gas fees and the time it would take for only one of us to deliver the packages. We only recommend doing Coupon Flex if there are similar promotions in the future. As for us, with the added bonuses, we are able to make enough money to reach our financial goal for this month, but for now, we'll stick to doing food deliveries until we can find a way to make money off of filming our adventures someday. Thanks a lot for watching! Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and want to support us, and stay tuned for more similar content in the future! Typical uh, driving in Seoul, just go for it. <laughs>